today we'll be looking at the factors affecting the equilibrium position of a reversible reaction. Recall that Le Chatelier's principle states that when a reaction in equilibrium position or state is disturbed by an external agent, such a reaction will adjust in a way that will cancel or modify the effect of such external agent. And for instance, if I balance this marker here on my finger and the marker is steady at rest, I can simply say that the marker is in its equilibrium position or state. Now, if I apply force on one end of this marker, downwards, you see what happens? The marker will dangle and lose its equilibrium. Now, that simply means that when a chemical reaction is in its equilibrium state, that is when the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the backward reaction, we say the reaction is in equilibrium state. Now, that, period, that time where the equilibrium has been established by the reaction, any change by external agents, which we are going to discuss, will cause the reaction to lose its balance, its equilibrium. Either the reaction, the equilibrium will shift to the left or it will shift to the right. Now, let's see the factors that can affect the equilibrium states and let's see how they can affect it and how the reaction will adjust itself to regain its equilibrium. Now, some of the factors that affect the equilibrium position are this. The ones we call the external edges, they are, they are number one, the pressure of the reaction. Number two, the temperature of the reaction. Number three, the concentration of the reactants and products. And finally, number four, the catalyst. These are the factors that can affect the equilibrium position of a reaction which is already in equilibrium state. Now, we are going to analyze each of these factors. Note this. When a reaction is in equilibrium state, inside the laboratory, inside the system or the containing vessel where this reaction is taking place, there is a certain amount of temperature, there is a certain degree of pressure, there is a certain degree of balance, a certain amount of concentration, which this reaction is operating with. When that reaction is in equilibrium state, we have the temperature of the reaction recorded. We have the pressure, the pressure that kept it in equilibrium, or the temperature that kept it in equilibrium, or the concentrations of the reactants and products that kept it in equilibrium. Now, if any of these things, for instance, temperature, let's assume when the reaction is in equilibrium state, the temperature of the reaction is 20 degrees C, for instance, and all of a sudden, the temperature increases to 25 degrees C. You can now say that this reaction automatically will lose its equilibrium. Why? Because the temperature has changed. When it was in equilibrium state, the temperature was recorded to be 20. If the temperature increases or reduces, let's say it increases to 25, automatically that equilibrium will be lost. Why? Because the equilibrium was established at a temperature of 20. Now that temperature has changed, either increases or reduces, that equilibrium at that time must change. It will change in a way that will help the reaction to regain its equilibrium at a temperature of 25. 
So we are going to explain each of these factors that affect the reaction in equilibrium states in the next video. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like our page, share with your friends, and subscribe if you have not. Thank you for watching.